the Institute of Africa Higher Education Research and Innovation, IHERI, Mariam Abacha American University, of, has organized its second international webinar to commemorate the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. The conference, which has its theme Hybrid Rehabilitation Model for the Treatment of People with Substance Use Disorder, was conducted on Monday, the 26th of June, 2023, in collaboration with the Association of Africa Private Universities, AAPU. In his paper presentation, a lecturer with the Bayer University, Kanu, and Executive Director, Al Mustakbal Rehabilitation Psychotherapy Clinic, Dr. Idris Salih Surogo, described substance use disorder as a disease that affects a person's brain and behavior, which leads to an inability to control the use of legal or illegal drugs. He said the number of substance abusers in the country is estimated to be 14.3 million, most of whom fall within the ages of 15 and 64. Dr. Rogo, who spoke at length on the dangers associated with the drug abuse, said a complete psychiatric appraisal is indispensable to guiding the management of a client with substance use disorder. According to him, people with substance use disorder could be reintegrated back to normal life in a society through parental counseling and empowerment programs such as skills acquisition to sustain their mental health. Earlier in his opening remarks, the president of Maun, Professor Dr. Muhammad Israr, said substance use disorder is a treatable mental disorder that affects a person's brain and behavior, leading to inability to control use of substances like legal or illegal drugs, alcohol or medications. Substance use disorder is a treatable mental disorder that affects a person, a brain and behavior leading to their inability to control their use of substance like legal or illegal drugs, alcohol or medication. He noted that the journey from a substance use disorder to a healthy, sober life is not a quick and easy one, as it takes a lifelong commitment to dedication and hard work. He said many people who participated were from different countries of the world, including Nigeria, India, Togo, Somalia, France, and the United Kingdom, among others. Two discussions from the United Kingdom and one from Lagos, Nigeria, reviewed the paper presented by Dr. Rogo, while Professor Abdullahi Muhammad Sabu, Dean Pro's Graduate School, Maun Maradi, served as a rapporteur during the conference. The three discussions were Ms. Fidel Ole Kenma, Mental Health Nurse, United Kingdom, Muftao Sunusi, Community Development Consultant, and Founder, Humanix Lab, United Kingdom, and Dr. Omotai Ajiro Tutu, Deputy Director, Clinic Psychologist, and Head, Psychological Services, Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Lagos. In his closing remarks, the Vice President and Administration, Dr. Habib Awais Abubakar, commended the Chief Host, who is the Founder and Chairman Governing Council of the University, Professor Adamu Abubakar Gorzo, for his continuous support to education in Nigeria and Africa at large. A policy set up by the Founder and Chairman Governing Council of Royal Mabacha, a similar exercise has also been conducted here in Nigeria before the students were granted uh, admission. So this is a policy for all known institutions because we want to ensure drug-free uh, environment and community. So thank you, Dr. Fatwa, for highlighting this very important uh, point. While thanking the convener, Professor Abubakar Sadiq Haruna of the IHERI for successfully organizing the conference, Dr. Awais also appreciated the panel of discussants for their individual contributions to the success of the program. Among the management staff that also contributed during the conference were the Vice President Campus Life, Dr. Hamza Garba, who called for the establishment of more rehabilitation centers as the existing ones are grossly inadequate, and Dr. Abdullahi Garba, who stressed the need for stakeholders to focus on locally produced substances that are being used by the youth. Others who participated were Dr. Musa Uba Adamu and Professor Rayan Garba, who spoke on the ills of drug abuse in the society and the way forward.